Finally, metal fans, after two long weeks of hard work, I've managed to transform the weekly top five into the weekly top five in five minutes. You need more metal now. That's why I rolled five days worth of video reviews into one five minute video summary. Then I ranked them from fifth to first place quickly in the final minute. So what I'm saying is that I have a huge batch of the newest metal albums to give you right now. Can you handle 10 albums in the next five minutes to get you through the week? Which albums made the number one spot? What albums did I pull from my treasure chest to give to you guys? Over the weekend, I chose and fully reviewed the most worthy five albums from a batch of 41. Today, you get the results in this summary video. I'm going to rate, recommend, and rank them from fifth to first place once again. Am I on my game this week? It's a task, and I am really not sure that you're going to agree. So let's start the whole show here. My Doom Scrolls are built from Apple Music's metal section, and I post them to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page just for you. I use data charts throughout the entire show to grade everything from the first three and remaining tracks through the entire feel of the album. The review results is in the numbers. So let's get going with the first of the week's top five in five right now. We have Coma by Gaera. Now, this album cover, I really loved it, and it was a really great match for the music that was contained within. This is black metal, and the vocals and the guitars are such an immense match. It's beautiful, beautiful work, well produced here. Bass and drums are also really well blended in there. This is a phenomenal album, I promise you. Okay, let me know in the comments once you've actually listened to it, what you think of it. So... Let's move on to our second choice of the 41 here. Now, we have next In Decay by Waste. And when I looked at the album cover, I knew I had to listen to it, and it did not disappoint. It is such an immense match for the material that is, that is inside. If you're a huge fan of deathcore music, you are really going to love this band for sure. Vocals, guitars, bass, drums incredibly thunderous punchy mix here let me know in the comments if this album is for you okay so let's go to number uh the next album okay so here we have Geigen this band is sophisticated easily the most unique album I think that I have heard this year this is one of the most intense ferocious clever albums and it's cosmic it's strange it's weird and i love it everything is really well blended together it was a white knuckle joyride all the way through again in the comments if you listen to this album let me know what you think of it so let's go ahead to our next choice now butcher basement the revamp version here by extermination dismemberment the original album, I believe, was in 2011, but when I finally heard this one just the other day, oh my God, I have not heard such immense rhythm in a slam death metal album like this in quite a while. Probably for about a year, I have not heard anything quite so heavy. Beautiful stuff. Again, in the comments, let me know what you think of it. So let's go to our final selection. And it is, I'm probably thinking that you know that I was going to select this, but the Nothing That Is by Fit For An Autopsy. Now, I'm a little wee bit newer to Fit For An Autopsy. Their last album was pretty phenomenal. I haven't dived into their the rest of their collection but this album did not disappoint. It is a complete package from beginning to end. And again, let me know in the comments what you think of it. So it's time to see right now who came into first place. And if you're ready, here we go. Let's rank them. Okay, so in fifth place, sorry about the delay, we have... Coma by Gaera. What a tremendous album. I selected this one for its articulate production all the way through. Phenomenal coming in at number five. Number four, I selected Indie K by Waste. Tremendous deathcore album. 
such brutal power. I think that you guys are going to love it for its uniqueness. Okay, I chose at number three, Gigan's new album. It is phenomenal. Wait till you hear it. It is cosmic. It is so satisfying. The next one, <laughs> the rhythm in this album. Easily place this one here at number two, although it is a revamp. It is a tremendous album. And number one, here it is, okay? The Nothing That Is by Fit for an Autopsy is the number one ranked choice this week by myself. This is a tremendous band. I think that I made a fairly good choice, but do let me know in the comments if you think that I'm wrong. Anyway, here's the way it works, okay? I got to say goodbye, but you got to download and stream and love these guys. Check them out, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.